Hi, my name's Deluge. You're probably wondering how I got in this situation. That's actually a very long story. Might as well start at the beginning. It all started in Brenna Village. I was just a young upstart hunter, still wet behind the ears, my trusty Klumbombaway sword and shield. I remember talking to the lady, I forget what her name was, but she sells stuff. You remember, I remember telling me, I could oil my Shmordo Bordo. I was like, what? Like, yeah, just give it a shot. First one's free. I'm like, all right. I remember the first time I owed that bad boy up. I felt absolute power within my grasp. And I knew nothing could stop me. So I stuck with the sword and shield for a little while. I know it's the beginning weapon, but still, there was a charm to it. Flair. Before I even developed hunting style, I remember I was slowly making my way through the ranks, looking to make a name for myself. And then one day the village chief comes to me with a request. He wanted me to gather some mushrooms. I told him I had far better things to be doing. And then he reminded me that there weren't any relevant quests in this rank. And I said, okay, I guess I'll do it. Little did I know, that's when things would start to get dicey. I was face to face with Clavinostro himself. He looked at me, I looked at him, pulled out the trusty clan bomb away, and I did what a hunter does best. I went to town on that bad boy. I knew I didn't stand a hell of a chance getting at that boy, or even getting him down to even a little bit of HP. I'll let me look my sharpest part to the yellow. Come on. But I oiled up the Shmordo Bordo, and I tried my darndest. I knew this boy wouldn't get the best of me. But, uh, two carts later, I decided that, uh, Perhaps a better use of my time in this quest was uh, gathering mushrooms. So that's what I did. After my encounter with Glavinostro, I realized that my trusty clump on my way wasn't quite doing the job I needed it to. But with a heavy heart, I threw that, that ish. I threw it right back into the box. And I went off. to farm me up. A ducky sword. As the trusty ducky sword, I knew no obstacle could stand in my way. Soon, I would come face to face with my arch nemesis again. But before that, I did do a lot of farming. So what did I do? Was I sharpened up the old clump bomb away and I got to work. With my path decided, I set my sights on the loss of prey. Or drone. I always get those confused. Either way, it doesn't matter. I needed the materials, and I was going to forge me a weapon that was invincible, indestructible, completely able to obliterate everything in my path. So with my heart set on the ducky sword, I set off to hunt me up a Velocipray. And boy howdy, that actually went pretty smoothly. Not even gonna front. It was pretty smooth sailing from that point onwards. The old ducky sword was putting in the work, and I was sure glad I put in the time and effort to make that damn thing. It was slick. But then, uh, just as soon as my hot streak started, it ended. I came face to face with an old friend. It was a late day in the dunes, and I came face to face with Nibble Snarf, the most adorable Muppet fish you'll ever find. Much to my chagrin, he was having none of my ducky sword shenanigans. I realized quickly that I needed a better approach. So I did the only logical thing a man in my position would do. I got me a big honking sword and I slapped the shit out of him. Over and over and over again. And I got the win. Much to my chagrin, I later came to realize that you can just feed him bombies and actually fish him out of the ground and get some easy damage on him. I wish I would have known that going in. It made things a lot simpler. A lot simpler. Needless to say, I hunted a lot of nipple snarfs. I don't know why. It's not like his gear is good. It's just kind of okay. But still, I had fun. And that was the important part. After the old nipple snark bag and tag fest uh, wrapped itself up, as they tend to do, um, I really liked uh, the big sword. So I decided I'd shop around and see what there was. Then I remembered it, in all of its glory. Charge Blade. Oh, the places you would go with Charge Blade. 
I eventually settled on Striker Charge Blade because of a certain art known as Energy Blade. That, my friends, was the beginning of something beautiful. New strategy, play style, ready to go, nothing stood in my way. I quickly made my way through some of the less important quests. Found myself face to face with a legendary, oh wait, no. Young Garuga, the bird, purple, chicken, screaming, thing. Listen, listen. But, after that, I got to hunt for Magala. Oh boy, how do I hunt a lot of Magala? Way too much Gore Magala. I need so many weapons. But after that, a new request from the guild came in. Urgent, in fact. I was to hunt an Astalos. Assemble my team and depart. I look around, I'm like, what team? It's just me here, man. 